Hey fourth graders, happy Wednesday. Today we're going to start out with the number of the day, and the number of the day today is 27. So answer these questions to fill in the number of the day. All right, time to check. So 27, 27, two words. The number before is 26. If I double it, I get 54. Subtract 5, it's 22. Multiply by 3, oh, 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 81. Add 7, 34. Number in the tens place is a 2. Write an equation. I'm going to do 9 times 3 equals 27. Expanded form, 20 plus 7. All right, on for some flashcards. Here we go. So I'm going to give you the flashcards. Follow along with me, and then afterwards there will be a quick quiz to see how many you can do. Okay? 8 times 2. 16, 9 times 4, 36, 6 times 9, 54, 7 times 4, 28, 9 times 6, 54, 7 times 5, 35, 6 times 4, 24, 9 times 2, 18, 3 more, 2 times 5, 10, 6 times 3, 18, and 2 times 6, 12. All right, play this game to check. All right, my friends, now that we have that done, we're going to bite into our um, lesson today. So, we've been doing a lot with this box, breaking our numbers into place value. And if I had 5 times 25, then I would break it into the tens place, 20, and 5 in the ones place, and multiply from there. And yesterday, we looked at how you can do that in a much quicker way without the box, right? So, I can very easily do 25 times 5 and think of the same 25 and then get the 100 and add the 2 tens from the 25 that I would have had there and get 125. Okay. Now we're going to be using this similar format but adding a digit. So instead of doing 1 digit times 2, we're going to go to 1 digit times 3. And you guys do know how to do some of this, so we're going to build on that and just kind of make those connections a little bit stronger. So I'm going to show you one um, first and then I'll let you guys do a couple practice ones and then I'll let you be done. So let's try this one. Let's say if I had 7 times 300. Okay, and I had 7 on this side and 300 over here. Well, really, I could break this into 100 and another 100 and another 100 because 300 is the same thing as 100, 100, 100. Now, 7 times 100 would give me 700. 7 times 100 would give me 700. 7 times 100 would get me 700. And I could add those up to get 2,100. Now, that was a way longer way because we know that if I have zeros there, they're just placeholders, I can just look at 7 times 3, 21, and take my two zeros and bring them over here and get the same answer, okay? But when I don't have zeros there, it can get 
very tricky. So we're going to show the box method with um, bigger numbers and then we're going to kind of show the shortcut way. Okay, so on we go. Let's try this one. Um, if I had 4 times 237, I show my place value block, box here, little one over here, 4, 237. What would I break that up into? How much is the 2 worth? 200. How much is the 3 worth? 30. How much is the 7 worth? 7. Fill in my boxes. 4 times 200. 800. 4 times 30. 4 times 7. Add them up. 800, 920, 948. Woo! Awesome. Okay. Now, time for you to try. Now, I know that you probably know it the shortcut way, but can you show me on your Nearpod board um, the answer for 7 times 231 with the place value box? Okay, break 231 up. So try it on the Nearpod drawing board. All right, to check your work, I'm going to put my 7 over here. My 2 is worth 200. My 3 is worth 30 and my 1. 200 times 7 is 1,400. 7 times 30 is 210 and 7. Add them up, 1,617. Boom shakalaka. Okay. Now, I can also... to think what I want you to do next. Ooh, I can also do it this way. Can you show me how to do, um, just do it the classic way that we, um, we talked about last year? Um, try it on your Nearpod board and then I'll check your work with you. All right, to check, four times seven, 28, carry my two, four times three, 12, plus 2 is 14, 4 times 2, 8, plus 9. Okay, chugging right along. Let's try another one. Show me this one with your place value box. And then also show, well yeah, show me with place value box first. To check, 5, 200, 10, 8, 1,000, 50, and 40, 1,090. 1, Time to check this way. Try this on your Nearpod board. Alright, to check. 8 times 5 is 40, carry my 4, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4, 8, 2 times 5 is 10, add my comma, we did something wrong, 5 plus 4 is not 8, it's 9, there we go, now they match, phew, Miss Hope, she's going crazy, alright, that is pretty much the majority of what we're going to do, but to finish out, I do have one final little one to show you and that is kind of a word problem to see if you guys can do this in a word problem okay so this will be your final one that I'll leave you with let's read it together I'll put it down this way so you can use your skills for multiplying a one digit number by a three digit number to multiply one digit dollar amounts by a three digit number and one digit numbers by three digit dollar amounts so for example, if I was getting stuff for a concrete job or for an engineering job or for missionary work or being a scientist, whatever, um, you're going to have things that cost money. You might be getting a car tire. A car tire costs $158. If Danica needs to buy new tires, how much will four tires cost? So on your final Nearpod board, I would like you to complete 
this problem showing your work you may do it either way whichever way you like the best or both ways if you really want to be extra special but take the information and solve this word problem on your Nearpad board and I will see you guys later.